Hi everybody, welcome back. We're continuing our live slam dance cover uh, coverage, and I am joined by a winner of an honorable mention at last night's slam dance awards from the piece Blua. I have director, writer, producer Carolina Chari. Good morning. Good morning. First off, congratulations. This is an exciting so morning much. for so many people that were actually acknowledged for all of their work. Thank you so much. Yes. So tell exciting. me a little bit about Blua. Um, okay, Blua is a. Um, is an experimental film. Mm -hmm. It's 22 minutes long. Um, it is based more on a theme uh, than than a story. Um, its 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 particularness uh, is that um, it combines narrative segments with observational and documentary segments. So it's doing a little bit something different than what we're used to see. Um, it's uh, its theme, it's around uh, re the relationship between humans and animals, how we relate mm. to, you know, to animals and what that says about us. Yeah. When I think, I was reading some of the, the synopsis and the summaries of the piece and people were talking about how humans just think it's natural or it's logical to put themselves above the animal world and you really tried to see what the world would be like if we all looked at each other as equals from animals to humans. Yes, yes, I'm interested in that. Um, well, it all started because um, my relationship with this dog um, I, I found in the street, actually, <laughs> and I picked her up. And I've never lived with an animal, and um, I would just look at her eyes and just wonder, like, what's in, what's in her head, and mm -hmm. how does she feel, what does she think, and what happens when, when we look straight into an animal and an animal looks at us and you know wh what happens when an animal and a human gaze meet like that's mm. the question that's in the center of the whole piece and so again it's not just what it says about the animal and what they're doing but it's also taking a look at ourselves yes because um, it's kind of a, a like a philosophical question um, or issue because when we look at animals it seems that we are we have always been wondering uh, when we look at them, who are we? You know, who are we as a species? Like, what? Um, when we ask what is an animal, is like we're asking what is a human. Mm. So I think that happens when we when we're looking at the animals. We're actually wondering about ourselves. I love that and looking into their eyes. Well, we have a clip from Blua, and uh, let's take a look right now. That's beautiful. And you said that was your mom. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's so obviously a really personal project for you. I read mm -hmm. that you started this project almost looking at it as a poem. Yes. Um, well, yes, it doesn't follow uh, a conventional, you know, storyline. So instead of being maybe a narration, yeah, like you would write it like a story, um, it, it functions more like a poem, like a. a a sequence of images that are related associatively with each other and and they all together they build this like constellation um, and I I do connect uh, I do want the film to be wanted the film to be poetic and and more like a song or you know mm -hmm. um, more in the in the poetic world um, because that is also um, that is also because Poetry is also a way of thinking mm -hmm. and about the world and, and feeling the world. Yeah. I love that. No, I was just, <laughs> I, the, the way to think about a film is poetry and, and you leave with more of a feeling than anything else. Finally, I just want to ask, this is such a, obviously a very personal project to you. What is your goal when the audience leaves the theater and they've seen that? What do you want them to take away with them? Well, I would, I would want uh, people to maybe see animals in a different way, mm. basically. And, to, and that means also see themselves in a different way. I would love this film to just maybe cause like a shift in our, in our mindset in the way we think of animality and, we, and in the way we think of us as humans. That's well, congratulations basically. on your honorable Thank mention, you so your much. first time at the festival. And I'm sure we'll be seeing and hearing much more from you. Thank you so much. All right, the piece is called Blua. We are going to take a break here on the show and be back with more live slam dance coverage right after this.